like, oh, snaps, this man is getting naked. <laughs> so, like, this black dude, like, legit was just naked. <laughs> What's going on? You are tuned in to the All Points Pack. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure was on. All right, hold on. What's going on? You are tuned in to the All Points Podcast. You are tuned in with the freshest crew. I go by the name of Tim on the Furniture. And it's A2, baby. And this is Kyle. This is why they don't let me do the introduction. <laughs> See, uh, you guys didn't hear it, but, um, you know, Tim over here, he's still practicing the intro. He he, he got it eventually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It only took him like 15 takes. You know, I I get confused with my peas sometimes, man. Like, I'm still not sure if we're on the All Porns podcast, All Pods Pointcast. I don't... Depending on what time of day it is and if we had our Bluetooth. That's true. Sometimes I get confused with my peas, too, you know. Mm-hmm. I'll be sitting there, and I'll be like, oh, snaps, I just got a pee. Like, which pee? Like, sometimes I gotta, I'm got. i standing there, and I'm like, oh, snaps, this is poop. He just got to get you know it in every time. Yeah. Can't help himself. <laughs> just every episode. Brought to you by Depends Adult Diapers. Yep. <laughs> the guys with the big packages. <laughs> <laughs> Callbacks. We got them. Uh, How y'all doing today, though? Well, I've been going for a week, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool to be back. Where you been, Kyle? I don't like the weather, though. Yeah, me, me neither. But I refuse to turn on my heater. You too. <laughs> it's not. It's not that cold yet. It's not. It's cold at night, but it ain't like. All right, this is cold. It, it's. It's like you know. I'm gonna grab me, like maybe another comforter and a blanket exactly. and just layer up. Kind of exactly. cold, but it, yeah. But it ain't like turn on the heater. It ain't. You know, gas it, prices in the hundreds now, man. Yeah. So no, I just man. paid my bill. It was like thirty bucks. This is probably the last month I can get away with it. See, I turned my heater on just because I wanted to make sure it worked before we got into the cold months. Yeah, true. You, yeah, that is that is smart. A few years ago, man, coldest coldest day of the year. It was like three degrees outside, mm-hmm. and then my fucking furnace went out in my old house, and we shit. were struggling that day. Man. It was cold as shit. Y'all got a fireplace or anything like that? Both yeah. I know I you mean, do. I got I a fireplace, know. but I can't use it. Wait, why not? It's uh, broke. Wait, what's broke? I don't know. When I moved into it, how does the fire? Pr- when I moved into it, it was something wrong. I don't know. I just I never looked into it. Whenever you buy a house, I swear the fireplace is always broken. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter what house Man. you buy; they're always broken. Yep. I can't wait. I can't wait to use it this year because not only so so for the summer, what we did since the uh, AC had broken, mm-hmm. we got this little this little uh, plastic sheet. You know, the thing that they were using like a. Uh, um, like in front of a uh, 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 like freezers and shit, mm-hmm. you know. So then you can just climb in, climb out, whatnot, and it'll hold all that 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 uh, cold air in. Mm. I'm gonna use that downstairs in the den when I like you know turn on the uh, fireplace and whatnot. Trap all that heat in there. This nigga about to burn his house down. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> just just be on the lookout. Wait, how does if that you see a house? How does that make sense? You go trap it all the heat from yes, the, the fireplace. Heat. Not in the fireplace, Between room, the, in the room. The heat and his computer, it's just going to be too much. And then it's going to short circuit. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, is that the den's right here. Then there's another bathroom. Then there's the downstairs, like the basement. And then mm-hmm. there's my computer room. So I'm going to shut them doors, have it all in the den, and be just toasty as fuck. All right. Good luck with that, man. Right. They've done it before. Shoot, Damn. y'all remember? Well, I don't know if y'all remember. See, I'm an old head. See, this happened back in 2005. Mm-hmm. You know, back then when uh we had that blizzard. Knocked Everything out was iced the, over. Yeah. See, we had a huddle down there. We had a huddle in the uh in the den. You know what I'm saying? And uh we only had one pot, so we had to make beans. Oh no, I'm just like pot to it. <laughs> Man, my grandparents did not prepare for that storm, and we had to go to the store that day, so my grandpa sent us outside because he we had to chip the ice away around the tires oh, of yeah. his Cadillac so he could Dang. back it up because it was just, it was too high for the wheels to move. Mm-hmm. And wasn't nobody ready for it because, like, it, we, nope. we, we just expected it was just going to be, like, rain and whatnot. Like, as far as we knew, it was just raining for, like, I think it was, like, a day or two. And then just the next day, that cold front hit, and it just... Iced everything. I think I remember that. Yeah. I don't know if I was still in school. I, I, I was at yeah, 05. Be, yeah. yeah, I was in school. I ain't that old now, Kyle. Yeah, I, really, right. I feel that old, man. I feel that old. You Trust do? me. Yes. What's what's making you feel old? Just, just life. Yeah. Just life. Yeah. 
You got some uh got some problems with your schmageggy? Nah, man. I came home. Came home from my work work venture mm-hmm. and uh just everything just was broke down. Just, <laughs> what you mean? Oh just Lord. My garage door broke. Damn. And then the door leading to my garage door broke. <laughs> Damn. So, like it was just it was just trouble after trouble. And I got my cars warning me I gotta rotate my tires. My my headlights in my van's going out, so like I can't drive at night. Man, them, them all just, sound like minor problems. You know what? I can fix your garage. I no, can the fix garage your headlights. Fixed. Right. Garage is fixed. Headlights. I need to go to Walmart. You ain't gotta. Go. You can do that yeah. yourself. Yeah, I need, I'll I do need it to get for a you, light Kyle. bulb. Oh. Okay, I thought he was I'll still about, do it for you. I thought he was talking about going to like Walmart Auto or whatever. No, I can get it. I can okay. fix it myself. But okay. I just need the light bulb right. to go to Walmart. Hey, I was going to say, that's, that's some simple fixes. Yeah, right those yeah. simple fixes I love. Oh, wait, wait. So is it the the Tesla telling you you need to My rotate the tires? Like, rotate your tires because the thread in the front, their tread in the front is going down. So rotate your tires. Mm-hmm. I was like, whatever. Such a smart car. Right. Know, do, right. do people ever come up to you and like, Ask her, like, what kind of car is that? And do you just go, it's electric? Stupid. I've been wanting <laughs> no, to ask you that question no, for a while. No. You're missing out, my friend. You no, need to do that. No. Well, the thing is, Tesla is like a normal car. It's, it's no, like. You're a DJ. You should be doing that. It's it's uh, it's uh, more normal than you think. Especially oh, yeah. being oh, yeah, in LA. Yeah. Where it's like. They they have to be all electric by like what twenty thirty or something. Wait, is it? It was that soon? They got all that smog, it was man. Something I don't know. It's 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 soon though. I don't think yeah. it's like I don't think it's very I, far from now. I don't but. think they're gonna be able to do that. There is no way that like people who are in like lower economic status are gonna mm-hmm. be able to afford a fucking electric After vehicle. After being there for a week, I was looking around. I was like, I don't think they're gonna make it. Nah, they ain't gonna <laughs> make it. There's what no they gotta way. do is go buy the car out of state, like come here to Kansas and buy a Tesla. And I mean, then bring I mean, it back. It'll it's probably the same be cheaper, price, though. I would imagine they don't change the prices of cars. I mean, with a, with with an, uh, a Tesla, it's probably going to retain its value. Yeah, the prices are all going to be the same. It's True. Just, it's just I thought when you buy a car out of state, you gotta. I don't know. You gotta pay yeah. for like inspection fees and stuff yeah. like that yeah. to get it registered within the state. But I mean, if you can get it cheaper somewhere else, then you know, mm. by all means, do so. I just know that <clears throat> L.A. So. What's what's the most you spent on a meal while you were there? Like I know shit's real expensive down there. There was this uh <laughs> You'll be you'll be surprised to know I didn't eat chicken as much as I thought I was gonna eat on this trip. Yeah. But really? when I did eat chicken, it was this uh classy soul food restaurant. It was Chicon. I call, chicken. I call it classy soul food restaurant. Call it, it, was, it was downtown. <laughs> It was called Fixins. Shout out to Fixins in downtown LA. They had a good chicken meal, and uh, that was probably back. the most expensive right meal I had. But uh, how much was it though? Oh, I think it was it was almost thirty something, or yeah. no, almost forties. Okay, almost yeah. 40 something. what was on the plate though? Like, was well, it I didn't worth- have to get an appetizer. I did get catfish nuggets, and then I got <laughs> a three piece chicken <laughs> with uh, mac and cheese and fries. It yeah. was a good night. It yeah. was. I'll say that it was a good night. Nah, I ain't even mad at it though. Yeah, I was. I was hungry, and it was a good night. It was the second night I was there, and I was like, you know what? This is my meal for the rest of the day. So you know, it was good. I will definitely say that. Uh, that definitely sounds expensive for that meal, but it definitely sounds like you got a lot. So at least it felt like. The think, forty was worth it. I think I'm that a, would be I like twenty five here. I See, I'm I'm gonna be um I'm gonna be the the party pooper over here because uh. You know, like so. So I did spend. I was, I was out in uh, Seattle not too long ago, mm-hmm. right? And uh, so, so Rick and I, we went out to uh, this 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 sushi spot, right? Mm-hmm. Now you know I don't really care for seafood and all mm-hmm. that, but I was like, I'm gonna just eat some. Is it because you're a shrimp? Yes, I don't, I don't want them eating our kind. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we ended up um, we ended up racking up like a hundred dollar bill. On sushi and shit. Just now, you? No, it was yeah. me and then like his friend Ryoko. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. um, yeah. but even then, just between the three of us, like a hundred dollar bill, and it'd be like fucking like thirty three bucks and shit. Hey, yeah. And I'm like, I don't even like this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, when to the be bill fair, came to job to be like, wait a minute, I didn't get this. <laughs> you got that. The, but but to be fair, I'll be fair, I did I did enjoy that 
like the ones they got because we got Unagi mm-hmm. and all the shit, whatever. Yeah. But I'm just thinking to myself now. Now also, I got some ramen or some. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got some ramen too. So, mm-hmm. but thirty bucks, it ain't that good. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> like yeah. The, the bowl was like yay big. Yeah, like, fucking yeah. nah. And and that's why I, I caught myself eating burgers mostly on the trip because yeah. like I knew what I was going to get when I got a burger. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. like, I didn't have to determine if it was going to be some small little, nah. So like, I ate a lot of burgers on the trip. Yo. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to tell y'all. I don't know if y'all been out there, but have y'all been to, uh, it was um, TJ Tacos 66. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you been out there? Mm-hmm. It, it is like, all right, so you know Bidia. Yeah. Oh. yeah. They had that little Bidia pizza, right? Mm-hmm. So I went with so so it's my homeboy Taryn at work and then my homeboy uh, Adriel. Um, now Adriel he's had video. We were talking it up. We were like, man, it's so good. You gotta have it. Blah 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 blah. And they had the little video pizza. Them motherfuckers. I ate one slice and that shit got me. It's yeah. an actual. It's thick. It's actual pizza. I mean, it's it's basically like it's a, more like of a, a giant quesadilla. quesadilla. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. But like, <laughs> so loaded with meat. Yeah. Right. But I ended up, um, I ended up taking like two slices home, and mm-hmm. the whole time out there, like that ramen was the only thing that I had, because I was waiting to come back and like finish that <laughs> bitch. <off. laughs> I was waiting. Hey, I could be like that. It'd yeah. be like that. Like, girl. like when I when I get back, because I gotta, I gotta, um, I gotta change my brake fluid when I get home. But um, you know, when I got back, I was like, okay. I ain't gonna go straight home so I can eat this shit. I'm gonna like take care of what I need to. Mm-hmm. Had to drive to like three different Walmarts because like the app said, "Oh, it's in this aisle." Aisle didn't exist, <laughs> you know. So I eventually get everything done. It was like a good hour after I got done or after I got back, and I get home. Them shits is just waiting in there for me. That was the best meal I've had in a <laughs> month because like mm. the motherfuckers, you know, because you know I had to air fry it, mm-hmm. like, obviously, you know, of course. So then it was like all extra crispy and shit. You bite into that. That crisp and then just that 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 fucking meat. <laughs> yeah. So damn good. Yeah, it was it was it was worth it, man. Yeah, I uh I've actually made birria tacos at home there, and it it's a they Sam's has a kit you can buy, and I don't care what my wife says, it doesn't compare still to making it yourself because yeah. like making it yourself is a couple hour process because yeah. you gotta stew the meat, mm-hmm. you gotta make the consomme, but like you basically turn the dip that you. Basically, the meat that you, what you cook it in, in. Mm-hmm. you use it as a dip, yep. and it is so yep. damn good. Like even dip the taco shells yeah. themselves in it and yeah. fry them in there. That's so point, yep. Woo. I yeah, I couldn't do it at home. Wait, why not? I I just leave it for leave it to the professionals. I I went to a taco spot in L.A. It was just. Just, nah, man, it's easy. I'm telling you. Yeah, some, things, I, some things I leave up to the professionals. I, I, I found a way to do that in like the pressure cooker. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm hell about to do that. Man. I should look that up because it's like so much faster. Pressure cookers yep. are go to. I cooked mm-hmm. rice in mine the other day, and yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't have to wait fifty fucking minutes to cook it. It's, you know what? I, I've been thinking about this like most recently, but it's like there is really no excuse for you to not be able to cook something on your own. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah, you may not be good at like you know frying or baking and all that shit, but like, and this is just for myself, like because when I got that that Ninja Foodie. Mm-hmm. It opened up to just making so many different meals oh, yeah. and whatnot. I mean, there's just so much that you can do that you don't even really have to like sit there and and watch the shit. No, you know, like even just putting something in like a crock pot or whatever. It's so easy. There's absolutely no reason but why you'll you be can't surprised how many women out there can't cook, and you'll be surprised how many men don't cook. Yeah, so just, like, and that's that's what weird. it is. Just don't. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's weird. So. Oh yeah, I went to my cousin's house not long ago because his uh, germ was moving in with him. And I could definitely tell a single man had been living there. Like the whole trash can was full of frozen pizzas. And I was just like, gotta, my dog, did you eat anything else this week? You got to evolve from that. I he was like, he was yeah. like, there's other foods? Yeah. Like, it wasn't gotta, even good frozen pizza. It was like the three minute Kroger ones. I'm yeah. like, my, my and, guy. Gotta. And there's and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, cause matter of fact, honestly, I've got some frozen pizzas in the, like, the chest freezer and whatnot, just ready to go. Yeah. Cause like, if I, if I don't really want to cook, Man, I'll just throw something like that on. That's I have your to, emergency yeah. food. I That's even what say, I call it. <laughs> I wouldn't even say emergency. I just say it's my like fucking I'm lazy food, you know? But when I see 10 of them in there, I'm like, yeah. you have been eating way too many of these fucking <laughs> things, bro. You need to check your blood pressure immediately. <laughs> man. Nah, man. Like, uh, even just like right now, uh, there was this, there's a uh, mashed potatoes recipe that I do every mm-hmm. now and then. It's, it's, it's just so easy. Like, that's your meal? 
the no, 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 no. It's, it's part of it, but like uh-huh. it just makes it makes the whole process like way way quicker. Yeah, like it, like at most forty minutes. You know, like if you can't wait forty minutes for food, I don't know what to I do. Mean, you're gonna be waiting that if you go out. So yeah, it's exactly. Just one of those things, right. Yeah, but everything's so dang expensive now. So it's just like every eating you out should. is the same price as basically yeah. eating in. Not depending man, on, I mean, really. it depends on what you're cooking there at the end of the day. But some things, you know, you may get everything together to make it a certain way. You don't spend the same exact amount. That you would have, like, if you were to try to make, like, a Jimmy John's-like sandwich, you probably mm-hmm. about to spend the same exact amount on the ingredients yes, like, that you would just go into Jimmy I John's. I go to the, the, the store, and and to make one meal, you end up spending, like, $40. Yeah. I, I do want to, like, price them out and see if they, like, because it would be interesting to compare it right mm-hmm. now. But, um, like, if if Jimmy John's is not making money, or, like, they're making money comparable to what you would do at a store, why wouldn't they just raise the price? I mean that's absolutely sure what they, they do. Have. Yeah, um, everything's everything's expensive now. Thanks, so Joe Biden. Stupid. Y'all, I don't know who to blame. Honestly, nah, it, I don't know, I don't know who places. to blame. You can't just. Uh, I'm blaming on the stimulus checks we accepted two nah, years ago. Ain't none of that. Nah, them <laughs> stimulus checks is exactly why crab legs and shrimp are so damn expensive right now. Because nah, niggas got their money and went straight to buying crab legs. I'm like, I hate black people because <laughs> every time we get money, we just go crab legs. No, <laughs> don't uh, do that. Okay. Yeah. See, you know, y'all buying I had nasty. Ass sea bugs and shit. I mean, I'm not, but you know. But you know, I I was on my Snapchat and I saw a boil every day. That's yeah. all I can say. I mean, it was it was it was free money. Man. It was free money. It the was, other day, mm-hmm. the other day, I saw this man. He was going in cooking this gator. Ooh. And he was just like, yeah, all you got to do right here is you got to put that gator in that in that that uh, that fr- that freezer. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and just put in some lemonade. Or he, this dude was putting everything on this fucking gator. But, yeah. the, the, but the second he took that out, I was like, I want some, I want some gator. Of course, Man. like that shit looks so good. You ever oh, had yeah. gator? You had a gator? Oh yeah, yeah. I've had yeah, that gator, gator bites over at the Cajun yeah. Shack. Yeah. They're pretty good. Yeah, tastes like chicken. See, y'all talking about how expensive food was. It literally reminded me that winter storm. I remember when we went to the store. I remember this amount specifically. My grandmother spent $244.84, mm. and we had two baskets full of food. And now I think, what does $244.84 buy you now? It barely you, gets you the week. You ain't ah, getting a full not, basket, man. What are you eating? <laughs> man, I mean, I, do I eat steaks? Yes. But I'm just saying, it's like to get good quality food. Like, I yeah. don't it's, what, okay, I'm what do you, what do you family mean? Family like, of five. Quality, like, so. what, what's in your basket when you go? At least some actual red meat, like some meat. Like, I don't, meat I'm not I mean, a like, pasta guy. I don't really, so like, I don't really eat like spaghetti or, or, or lasagna, stuff that can, you know, you might have leftovers. And, you know, usually my meals, there's no leftovers. <laughs> it's, like, it's like chicken, Three. steak. Exactly. <laughs> well, Pork to, <laughs> to be fair, black people, when we make spaghetti, we intentionally make large amounts that we know damn well we're not going to all eat in one night. <laughs> exactly. oh, if right. we make spaghetti, you're eating it the rest of the week. Yep. Um, that's, nah, that's what I mean. I mean, I mean but, but I mean, like, so I'll usually go at the uh, go on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now, like, I'm trying to keep myself on a strict, you know, calorie intake and whatnot because I'm I'm trying to get these uh trying to get these abs back again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um sure. <laughs> Bro said he want his cum gutters. That goddamn right. <laughs> but uh I am trying to get this way. So like I'll I'll usually buy um bananas. I'll usually buy some they have those like prepackaged salads and shit. Mm-hmm. So I'll do that and then um all milk or whatever. So it don't it don't really come up to that much. But when it's like the weekend and I can go ham, that's when I'm buying some fucking like, like I'll buy actually to be honest with you, I usually like eat out on weekends. Mm-hmm. So like I don't think it's like that hard. Yeah. Until you got kids. Yep. I mean, yeah, granted, yeah. Well, just the stuff that you like there. People are like posting their groceries now mm-hmm. online saying how much they spent, and then people are looking at it like that's actually disgusting that that's all you got for two hundred dollars like i saw one person had like seven bottles of simply lemonade and stuff they're like well first of all you fucked up that's like 45 dollars worth of juice that you got so and and i think what it is too is just like uh because how often do y'all go to like places like aldi see i've gone there but i'm like i haven't been as impressed i mainly go to sam's just because i need more stuff in bulk yeah yeah 
I mean, just like as an individual, if you're buying, getting going to somewhere like Aldi, it is beautiful. Oh, yeah. They have beautiful. good portions for individual yeah. people there. I mean, they have some stuff there I truthfully would buy, like, you know, when it comes to the produce, the different kind of cheeses and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. they have things you might not see in the regular store. Mm-hmm. Them and I'm discovering Trader Joe's is pretty legit, too. Ain't they expensive, though? Not everything is expensive in there. Some of the stuff, yeah, mm-hmm. very expensive. But some of the things in there... When it comes to the cheeses, the different types of milk, their their produce looks really good. I'm oh, like, God. and it's not much more expensive than the store. And I'm like, and yeah. it's organic. So I'm like, well, shit, I might know. buy some produce out of here. You know, I, was, I might have to make a detour there, you know, because I am trying to get these gains. So. A lot of sauces, too, man. They got sauces galore. Man. Yeah, white people won't season their food, but they'll sauce no. their food. <laughs> yeah, they will. <laughs> it's the cheat. <laughs> they'll sauce their food for sure. Yeah, all you got to do is marinate it. All right, yep. No, they'll, they'll sit there and sauce everything. I know. I started crying because I saw a friend of mine. He posted uh, him grilling on a Snapchat one time some chicken cutlets. And I'm like, all I see is some little flecks of red here and there. What what did you put on there? I'm like. Just a, just a little cayenne pepper. Yep. It's like spicy is the only flavor they know that. Or it's just a. It's like if you pinch it, I don't want it. Mm-hmm. I mean. What are you going to do, though? When, not uh, eat it. Yeah, yeah. I guess not. <laughs> There's nothing we can do living no. in today's world. Man. I mean, you know, like I said, you you can make it work. It's just depending on how. I mean, if you really want to go in, you can be like a like our girl Aria. Shout out to Aria with them coupons, like them them extreme couponers, man. Oh I mean, yeah, I've saved a couple dollars with my plus card at Dylan's. See? My sister be doing that. Yeah. Them couponing will save you too. Yeah, I mean, like I saw I saw somebody do this. So it was like it went from like a two hundred dollar bill. Went all the way down to like 80 bucks. I'm like, how the fuck do you do that? It's some coupons. You got to know. You just got to be in the know. You got to look at the manufacturer sometimes for the coupons there, not the store I'm finding out. Because like, you know, Walmart, they don't really do coupons anymore. You got to bring in that shit from somewhere else. Yeah, I noticed that. But do y'all like, so the whole thing about the coupon thing is like, do you go in there with $20 knowing that you about to get a whole bunch of food for $20? (laughs) Or did you go in there hoping it's going to be $20? Because nah. that's how I shop. Like, I'll buy something and be like, man, all I got is $20. <laughs> I hope, you know, I get something cheap enough to where <laughs> the coupons kick in and it brings it down. And there's been times where I'm like, oh, man, I'm a little bit over. <laughs> so, like, I don't know how couponing, like, do, do couponers go with $100 expecting they're going to spend $80 worth of food or do they just you, you probably should because like I, yeah. I've been there a couple of times when she was doing it mm. and it's like this coupon they don't they ain't going to accept it yeah. so then it's just like that bit that they mm-hmm. can't get and then just it adds up a little bit yeah yeah I would I think that's probably the, that's the tactic that's why I couldn't do it I think a lot of them they go to the store so often that like if it's stuff that they're normally buying they have a good idea already of what yeah. it's going to cost them so like like my sister, she coupons a lot because she does like baking stuff on the side and everything there. Yeah. If you're the IRS, IRS, no, she don't. But just um, like every other female in the world, exactly. Right. But like she knows what around what that stuff costs. She'd be looking for the coupons where it'll be like buy four butters, get some free. She'd be like, can you send me? And I'm like I ain't about to go to that damn store and go buy a whole bunch of butter. I'm fat enough. They're gonna mock me the instant I come up there. They're gonna be like, really? I'm like, I ain't really? doing it. You you need all that? No, exactly. No, sir. Just just say that you uh you about to like heat it up and fill the pool with it and bring some <laughs> bitches over. You know, you like butter bitches and bottles. What the fuck you know about that, son? They take the little apron off. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Be a good time. But uh, have you guys seen now? Right after she's unveiled her sex tape, or he has unveiled his sex tape. Wait, oh, wait, wow. what? That sexy red is <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. People. She was at the BET Hip Hop Awards and, and Kiera was looking at her and be like, she's pregnant. Yep. I was like, hmm. Well, now everybody's saying like, it's Drake's baby. I'm like, shut up. I mean, We're not be. doing this. We're not doing this. Why is, it, is Drake just affiliated with every every woman out there? Yes. I mean, did you see the list of like how many women that nigga didn't date it? That's like mm-hmm. Hollywood affiliate. It, it was like this whole list. It, looked, it took like a um, good like minute and a half to get through everybody. And then you just saw in the comments, too, it was like, man, he's still salty over Rihanna. Bro, I mean, just mad. I mean, when someone like ASAP takes your woman. Yeah, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> ASAP is a gremlin, so I, I understand that one. I'm mad yeah, at ASAP. Man. Shout out to the gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know. It's just, I mean, I ain't never been in the industry, so I wouldn't know. But like, I guess they just like to date people in the industry because they are used to their lifestyle and they know their lifestyle. I think it would just be easier. Yeah. Because I mean, be like, easier. I mean, like, if you was a if you was like a multimillionaire or something yeah. like that, mm-hmm. you really gonna go after somebody who ain't never had money? I mean. It depends on the person. Like, if the person, I don't know. Like, if it's like your high school crush or something. Like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think when you get to that, <laughs> when you get to that level, though, there really is no winning. You either get with somebody you said who ain't had money and they probably act in a damn fool, uh-huh. or you get with somebody who does money and it's almost like a like. For example, I don't feel like Jay Z and Beyonce really love each other. I feel like that was more of a power move. It's like, look. I can yeah, it's like I can be more successful with you, you can be more successful with mm-hmm. me. Let's just be together. It's it's transactional at that point because you cost more for them to divorce. At this yeah. Point in life. It, it it wouldn't surprise me if that's something that happened, but like I mean, but it, but again though, if like you were with somebody who like like I think I would much rather be with somebody who has like the same kind of work ethic than, than that I do. At so least like, that, if I'm yeah. somebody like fine, sir. if I'm like Jay Z, if I'm like Jay Z and, and you know I made it from out of Marcy and shit. Mm-hmm. And then made it to that status. I would want somebody who's like going to fill in the the bits where I'm I'm failing, I guess, mm-hmm. rather than just have somebody who's just like who came from dirt poor shit and just never made it out. I mean, I guess it just it, it would get boring. You know what I mean? Like somebody doesn't have like the same kind of experiences that you do, yeah. right? Because yeah. then they're just yeah. like they want to go and do all these things that you've already done to the excess. So you're just like. Yeah, it's Tuesday for me. Yeah, because like there's there's this chick that I know, right? And mm-hmm. she's dating this dude who's like he's he's wealthy enough to where like one of their first date he flew her out to Vegas for like a party. Oh you no! Know? And and in VIP and all this shit. And so like for her perspective, she's just like, oh, this is amazing and whatnot. For him, he like literally said, "I wish I liked you more." Damn. You know, like it's it's like that mm. you know what i mean but it's just because they're they're both in just like separate worlds and now that they're like together or whatever it's just it's just all sorts of just chaos there mm. i wish i would fly a girl out somewhere that i ain't even sure about how much i like her like yeah i just had that kind of money yeah. to do that it's like oh yeah i guess she can come sure but you guys don't ever like bring your mate to something and basically bring them into your world and show them the stuff you're interested in oh, and, of course. and get enjoyment out of their first time experience. Oh, it. I do. Yeah, yeah. 100%. But like you, you say millionaires don't get that experience because I think it's just like, I think at a certain level, you, if, mm. if you are the type of person that's like made it to like millionaire status or multimillionaire yeah. status, yeah, I I don't think you get to that level for being like empathetic and all that, mm. and like really being about other people other than yourself, mm. especially people smaller than you, because you got to step over people smaller than yeah, you usually exactly. to get there. And it's like you know they literally might be on some broke people shit, and like you know they want to do broke people things. I got money, so now I'm drunk all the time. Like mm. I'm never not drunk. It's like I'm just trying to you know, do this business deal and you're over here sipping martinis and yeah. you keep talking during it. And it's like, what the fuck are you doing? And then, and then on top of that too, it's like, you got to worry about somebody just being there for climbing, mm-hmm. you know? So it's like, I got this person. So now I can get to where I want to be because they got yeah, connections. Exactly. And then the second that, you know, they get there, it's like, well, you're, I don't need you no more. They, they treat them like, like uh, Andy did Woody. It's like, I don't want to play with you no more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It kind of goes back to that whole Jay Z didn't let home lend homeboy forty four thousand dollars, his cousin four thousand dollars. Yeah, you know when he had the money, and I'm over here just like I would just gave it to him. Yeah, I would too. But yeah, I wouldn't have. Yeah. But speaking about giving money out, mm-hmm. we got to give some money out to pay these bills. Oh, no. we need to take a quick commercial break, y'all. Ch-ch-ch. We'll be right back with All Points Podcast. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Kyle. Hmm. How's your week been, buddy? Since you've been back, you got any jet lag? Since you've been back. Oh man! So <laughs> there's a lot that happened these past couple of days, Word. and I'm not ready to talk about it on the show just yet. Yeah. But just know, yesterday I woke up around like two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, motherfucker I, didn't have jet lag. He I was jet up lethargic. At two o'clock in the afternoon, and I was like, "Whoa, I gotta go get my son." And <laughs> and like my day went by so fast yesterday. Mm. And today I was just super tired. I don't think I'm back. I'm. St- I think I'm still on LA time. Yeah, but I'm like super tired. It's How just did, like, 
Hey, I don't get it, man. I don't know. Like, like when I was first there, like the first day of Monday, that was like my actual free day to do whatever I want. Right. And like, uh, I was still in Wichita time. I kind of felt it. I was like, man, mm-hmm. it's like it's like seven here, but in, in Kansas, it's it's nine or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I, I was feeling it. But like, I think it was Wednesday. That's when I finally jumped over to LA time. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm kicking it. I'm, I'm out here in these streets, you know. <laughs> and I, I was out in them streets, and it was LA's. It's crazy, man. It's, yeah, I, I saw some things. You see a see a bum piss on a, a, a Scottish terrier or something like no, that. Some man, weird shit. No, another so, bum's pissing on him. <laughs> so the first thing I saw, it was it was it was sad, but it was also just like. You couldn't help but kind of chuckle at it, but like, so you know, uh, what's the movie? Um, Escape from LA. No, I'm sorry to bother you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keith, Mm -hmm. you guys know who he is, that actor. Yeah, Yeah. I swear he was on my Metro bus. (laughs) 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 It was so. It was it was some guy. He was he was he was missing some type of medication, or he was on too much medication, but. He walked on the bus in a sweatsuit outfit, and I swear it was a Keith, <laughs> and he had no shoes on. And um, I don't think he he paid to get on the metro or whatever. I think he just roams the metro. Yeah, and like he gets off at stops, but like oh, I got a story for that. He would he would sit down, get up, sit down, get up, stand like this close to the door, like an inch away from the door, and then the the, the door was the, the the train would stop. He would get off, hop back on, get off, hop back on, and it was like it was funny. And then, like, he kept doing it, and I was just like, right. this ain't funny no more. He's this, like, get some new material. He's just playing around. There's something wrong with this, man. And I filmed him for a split second, but I was like, you know what? I'm yeah. deleting this because I felt bad for him about it that's, after that's a certain good, point. Because because yeah. he, he he looked like he he was feeling he was he, he couldn't help it. Yeah. And, like, the door was – like, there was one stop where we stopped, and the door uh, was closing – and he wanted to get off, so he like pulled the emergency uh, uh, exit oh, door boy. and just jumped off. And then the door finally closed, and that was like his last stop. But like he 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 looked like he wanted to get off at certain stops, but he couldn't because of whatever was going yeah, on in yeah, his yeah. mind. So I felt bad for him, but he finally did get off. But it was kind of funny on the way back home or back to the hotel. Uh, he got on the same bus, and I, he got on the bus I was on too, or the the. The metro that I was on too, and I was like, "Oh, here we go again." But he got off like really quick. Yeah, she. But uh, I felt bad for him. So you know, I saw my first. You know, I'm not gonna call him crazy person, but you know, he was missing whatever medicine that he needed. Yeah, person. And then the the one night I was walking, cause I was I was every time I was out on the streets, I would Facetime Kira, cause you know I didn't want to be on the streets by myself. Oh, I was, he was like, he if was I get scared. mugged, <laughs> if I get mugged, at least someone, you know, is on the phone with me. What are they going to do? <laughs> like, I don't know. Just, hey, stop. You know? <laughs> Aww. Leave alone. Damn. Swipe I can't call run. the cops. Swipe or no swipe. <laughs> but um, I was walking because I wanted some donuts. You know, I had a, you know, had a good meal. Speaking of Kira, she's calling me right now. Uh, nah, you got oh, sure, to answer that. I got to answer it. Yep. Uh, hello? I'm doing the podcast right now. What's up? Oh, nothing. I'll see what you're doing. Oh. Okay, bye. All right. Talk to you later. <laughs> bye. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't miss that part of Dayton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I was walking because I wanted some donuts. And so, like, you know, I'm walking down the street. It was a straight shot. Boom. Right down. So I'm walking, walking. I'm stopping at a stoplight. And I got to cross the street right here. And I look over. I swear this is audio. Wait, she's calling again. Hello? I think she butt dialed me. But oh. uh, I was walking, and I swear this dude appeared out of nowhere like a random Pokemon. Like, he just, it was just a <laughs> random <laughs> black dude. And I was talking to Kier, and I was like, oh, snaps. This man is getting naked. <laughs> so, like, this black dude, like, legit was just naked. He was like legit naked in the middle of the street. And I didn't know how to react. Like I at that moment I was scared. I, I was panicking. I was like, I need an adult. You know, I was like, I thought I was in danger. Cause I was like, I had to cross the street. And I was like, I'm not crossing right there. So I went the opposite direction. And, I, and he was walking and just like I'm talking like everything was out, just swinging. Like this dude was 
But you saw naked. that. Mm. Saw that man dingo. I saw, <laughs> I saw everything. Hey, <laughs> hey that and, ain't a lighter. And, That's a dick. <laughs> and like he was just like he was free. He was free. I was like, man, I wish I was that that you know confident in my life. And he was just standing in the middle of the street, just like this, like open arms, just yeah. like naked. In the As middle God of the intended. <laughs> exactly. And I was, I was like, I'm about to witness the murder. I'm about to witness someone get hit by a car. Because he was in the dark part of the street. He wasn't oh, no. in the middle. And a car was coming. And I was like, he's about to hit him. He's about to hit him. And luckily, this guy was paying attention because he swerved like at the very last minute. Mm-hmm. But I was like, this is getting scary. Like, I don't want to witness this. Like, I don't want to witness this naked man just get hit by a car. Stop looking. And luckily, <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was, I was like, what's going on with this man? And then finally, someone, you know, rushed him off the street. And he got him onto the sidewalk. But, but yeah, that was, that was my first time. Uh, since the the YMCA in Topeka, where I saw a full grown man just naked, like <laughs> I didn't know how to. I was like, "This is weird." You ain't never seen a nigga naked since then. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not since that Topeka YMCA, I ain't well, never seen ready. a fully naked man like that. <laughs> but this man, yeah, it was it was a bit much, and I was like, "That's L.A. for you." Got post traumatic streaking disorder. Yeah, it was, but I got my donuts. And I did eat them in the hotel room, <laughs> but uh, it was nice. It was a it was a nice little. After I think it was Wednesday is also when I was just like I could live here. You know? Yeah, I was like, you got you got acclimated quick. This. Yeah, I could do this. That's a, exactly what everyone says. Traveling yeah. out of town a few days, yeah. I could live here. I could do yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I learned the metro like it was nothing. You know, I got all the way down to little Tokyo and, and back by myself. And know? it don't take nothing though. It, it, nope. it don't. Like, it, you just got to pay attention because some not every metro is the same. So not right. every metro's metro is going to announce their stops. Not every train is going to yeah. announce. You know, yeah. you're at this stop. You just got to look around. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not every metro is the same. Like some make absolutely no fucking sense. <laughs> like Seattle's. So I mean, I can't talk, but LA is pretty easy. But go ahead. Nah. All right. So so check this right because you know. Usually when I go out to Seattle, mm-hmm. you know, I'll meet Rick and then we just go and do our thing, right? Yeah. But, you know, his son had a game, right? So I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, well, here's what we're going to do. You know, he's all the way down in Tacoma. So I was like, I'll just go down there, right? And I get to where the stop is. So, like, I, I always make sure and just check and be like, uh, go on the phone and then ask somebody. It's like, and then I'll ask the driver. So that's like a three-point check. So I know where I'm going. Yeah. So I get to the spot where I'm supposed to be. And the uh, it's like the 473. It's yeah. like 473 shows up and I'm like, hey, you're going down to Tacoma, right? And he's like, no, I'm not. And I was like, oh, OK, well, then yeah. I pull back and stop. <laughs> yeah. Then I wait another like 20 minutes and then 473 shows up again. And I was like, you go down to Tacoma, right? No. <laughs> 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 so I'm like, wait, which one goes down to Tacoma? And he's like, oh, it's the 473 southbound. And I was like, OK. I know that last one says southbound. So it was the opposite direction, basically. Well, I would. So the one that was I was talking to, and I asked which one was going northbound. Yeah, yeah. Southbound. The dude, I guess he forgot what his route was because that <laughs> had, it just it made absolute no sense. Yeah. It's like I was on time for it. I checked the schedule. I was like, mm-hmm. all right, he's supposed to be here, right? So then another like forty minutes goes by. And the same dude pulls up. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, man. no, <laughs> you fucking lied to me. <laughs> so he's like, come on, just go ahead and get on. And I, I prepared because I was mm. like, you know, I usually like to make sure I got fare ready and all that shit because yeah. I don't want them waiting yeah. for a whole long time. And so then I get it ready. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's the wrong one. But the sign said King County Metro. So the one that you registered for is the King County Metro. I bought a ticket. It was like three yeah, bucks. Yeah. And he's like, just go ahead and sit down, man. It's okay. Because he knew. He knew he lied to me. He knew. <laughs> he just saw you three times. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, 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 no. So the second time, that was yeah. somebody else. Yeah, but the okay, first okay. one came yeah, back yeah, around. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, all right, you know what? Cool. So then I get on the bus and I go down there, right? Mm. And during that whole thing, he had to go towards the airport again. Mm-hmm. And... He, he had dropped off this one dude because he was like he was talking to himself and whatnot. So I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, he's a uh, he's a yeah. um, he ain't got he's his in medicine. need. Yeah, yeah, he ain't yeah, got his medicine. He ain't got any medicine. Yeah. So he uh, he hopped on the bus and like went before I did. And then he, when we get to the airport, same dude is there. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, okay, well we'll pick him up. And then um, I'm gonna just be honest. You get that smell. Yeah, you know? yeah, you get that smell. No, yeah, when Lakeith got on our metro, mm-hmm. there was literally a family sitting like a row behind him. The whole row just moved. Yeah, and I was like, Dang. You, I mean, but 
Yeah, they, but you can't help. Yeah, they got the, They don't have the sit down smell. They have that sit down, stand up, twirl it's, around. It's, you know what I mean? Like it's uh, what pig pit and Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's got that dust cloud. Just yeah, it's but like uh, an onion marinating and lemonade <laughs> yeah. stuffed in ass. Yeah, it's, it's something. But uh, so it, it goes from like bad to worse when we get down to Tacoma, <laughs> because like we get to the stop that I'm getting off at, and like as we're so so we turn the corner right. And I'm paying attention to my phone, and I hear, oh! and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I turn around, and the dude, cause like, so you know the the wheelchair accessible spots, right? Yes, yes. Uh, he was sitting on the row on the opposite end, where it's like right behind those, right? Mm -hmm. I turn back, dude is gone. Dude is gone. <laughs> And I'm like, where the fuck did he go? <laughs> and so the driver was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so this man jumped out of the window. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? And here's the, here's the, just, uh, this, this nigga was like, he was like the flash. Because nobody knew where he went after that. My chest sir. <laughs> it was like. I, I don't know what this man was on, but he just like took out. Cause like, cause like, so what, what was happening is like at that stop that we went to, the guy was like, he was going to be arrested. You know, there's a cop, there's a cop that was waiting for him there. So he was just like, fuck the police. <laughs> What in the he motivation? Jumped out the window of, and took out. Oh man! What in the motivation of methamphetamines <laughs> is going on out there? Uh, uh, so I was like, I don't know what's going on here. I'm uh, getting off this bus before they try to question me. Like, was I everyone just calm and cool? No. Oh, they was no. They was kinda, everyone was kind of. Everybody out. hopped off the bus to try to find <laughs> this man. I feel uh, like anytime you go out of town and get on public transportation, it is just wild, man. Like, it, yeah. My first time in Vegas, so yeah. we were waiting for the bus there was a lady sitting outside of walgreens in a wheelchair and i'm like i think that might be blood on the side of her head and i really don't know if she alive i'm afraid of touching her to see if she's okay because you know i don't want to incriminate myself yeah, yeah. yeah. And so you know we go on our way and we get on the bus and then there's just the nigga throwing up more blood than Paru in the back <laughs> on the bus. And I'm like, like actually Man. vomiting blood. And I'm just like, oh, no. Was anybody oh. concerned or they were just like, mm. they were just sitting there like it, was it wasn't a, happening. Yeah, I'm just looking. It's just a regular it. day. That's the weird part about it. Because it's like you come from a city where you don't really have to deal with public transportation if you don't want to. Yeah, and exactly. So like, and then you go to a city where it's like normal and you're just like, everyone's just like, mm, whatever. It's crazy. just going yeah. on and on. I'm like, no one's concerned about stepping in yeah. this shit. And then we get off the bus because finally can't take it no more. And then some random African nigga starts yelling at me on the side of the street. Yeah. He's like, you think I work all this time so your fat ass can eat? I'm like, nigga, I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is why no. I don't like traveling. No, man. bro. I, I know exactly what you feel. Because like. my whole like, my whole time I was there, I was like, don't look like a gang member. Don't look like a gang member. Don't look like a threat to anybody. Crenshaw I'm, Kyle. I'm smiling at everybody. You know, I'll just make sure. Nigga, what sure. you smiling for? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, exactly. It was like, you don't want to assume that, because like, I didn't, I didn't want to like, I had to make sure I was wearing like colorful clothes and like. <laughs> he had like, a rainbow shit. Because <laughs> like my first day I was there, because usually when I travel on an airplane, I like to dress, you know, comfortably. Yeah. And so like I was yeah. wearing uh, shorts, uh, flip flops, and like I had the socks that went up, you know. So like oh, yeah. my tube socks were showing, you know, and like, and I was wearing a black shirt. Oh, you look like a cholo. So, yeah, like, no, no, no. <laughs> exactly. So I was on the bus and I was, I didn't think nothing of it. I was like, I, I think they think I'm a Mexican guy. <laughs> it's like the way my socks are pulled all the way up and just like the way I'm just sitting here is like this Mexican guy with the family, he got on. He was kind of like looking at me up and down. I was like, oh, man. I was like, I ain't tripping on nobody. I ain't tripping on nobody. And it's just like, that's like my biggest concern. Like, I don't want nobody to think I'm a threat because I have resting, like, mad face, I guess. And, like, so I was sitting there smiling at people, just, like, you know, paying attention to my phone. Just, like, but, like, it's weird because you also don't want to look like a tourist either. Yep. You don't want to get robbed. You don't want to be, I'll like, on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> See. You don't want to look like a tourist. So, like, you kind of just kind of want to blend in. So, like... When the, when the dude's acting crazy, you kind of just like, you know, blow him off. But you also are like, you ain't never seen this before. So, so you kind of like, keep you're, kinda like see it. <laughs> but you're also just like, no, nah, man, just act like you're normal. Act like you've been, like you do this all the time. 
So like, it's just a weird balance when you're in a different city doing this stuff. So. Yeah. Right. I mean, I like obviously we want like people like that to get help and whatnot. Yeah. You know, yeah, and just yeah. like have a place to go to eat and all that and get yeah. the meds they need and For shit. Sure. Still entertaining. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> like it's wrong, it's, but it's, it is. It's wild because like we don't deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. No, we really because it'd be like who let you outside the house exactly, like this? Exactly. Where's your family? Exactly. But but I mean it, the the fucked up part of it though is that like. I don't know. You go up to Seattle. I, have y'all been up there? I've never, never. been to Seattle. Okay. No. One of the just the most sad things, because like obviously people, like it rains all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You will see just as you're driving around, just tent, 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 tent. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's just like, it makes sense why you get people who, who act like that, because like they ain't got nowhere to go. Yeah. Nope. And then like once you lose that little bit of like, that little uh, uh, social barrier where, like, you'd be ostracized. Like, it'd be embarrassing to be, like, noticed like mm-hmm. that. Yep. Then it's like, well, I'll just do whatever the fuck I want. Let me just yeah. get naked yeah, in the middle of the street. Just get naked in the middle of the street, you know? And, yeah, that's why there's streets like Skid Row in L.A. Just yeah. Tent City. And you're yeah. just like, yeah, but. See, that's why. What I, are you going to um, do? I miss the, uh, what was it we used to have in the Wichita Facebook page where they would just post all the wild Wichita shit that was happening. Like one time somebody straight up caught people just fucking between cars downtown, <laughs> like behind Emerson Biggins, uh, like yes. Wichita wild or some shit like that. I, I can't remember what it was like called. Wichita wild or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Like just yeah. catching the crazy shit happening here. Now it just be all these people that think they can stack 20 pallets on top of a Ford focus and drive <laughs> with it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, like other, other than that, the the trip up to LA was good though. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, it was it was fun. It was it was nice. Uh, Wait, what'd you I, go there for? I went for Adobe Adobe Max conference, you know, because I dabble in Adobe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, nerd. <laughs> they they. I mean, I got me a I got me a nice little hoodie from them. You know, we was we was going in the auditorium and they was like, uh, grab a pop, grab some popcorn grab some beer and grab some candy it was all free how much you spend in total on like the whole trip total yeah mm. uh, i did the math i think i spent well just on food and like uber and lyft i think i spent like a total of, like almost 300 dollars. like not for the for, whole for trip, the whole though. week yeah. how long were you gone i was i was there on monday i came back Wait, even even Friday the flight morning. and all that that's huh. not bad so, yeah, no, the, no, flight no, the, flight, the flight that wasn't included no like just on food and travel it was three hundred dollars how much with the with the flight and all that the flight was oh man like about four hundred or five something like that i know you'd be finding them cheap flights nah it was it was it was like five probably and then See, the hotel spent, was like a thousand Ooh. he spent he spent like a thousand bucks to get a hoodie and some candy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Don't tell my job that. <laughs> I learned a lot. Trust me, going down there, I learned a lot. No, nah, I mean, okay, so I, I, I will say whatever, because, like, you know, like, when going up to Seattle, like, mm-hmm. I went up, I, I travel, what, like, six hours to perform for five minutes yeah you know? yeah but it's it is just the experience yeah, exactly yeah exactly yeah i will say i will say on the airplane uh well uh southwest you know you can pick your seat you can literally sit wherever yeah, you want yeah. southwest and it's it's a good thing but it's also a bad thing because if you like in like the 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 first group you know you get to pick the best seat right you right. know and there's always but i don't understand like i think in general people need to learn airplane etiquette see like etiquette just period yeah. because like group b you know you kind of get more you can you can pick your own row you probably might get a row to yourself mm-hmm. but like it's those group c's people who are just like really looking for seats and it's just like the group <laughs> b people you you just you just would assume if you're going to sit in a row where someone's already there you just got to scoot in that yeah. way you can you know the next person can just sit in the last row mm-hmm. and just have the aisle seat so, but it's always those people who are just like, I'm gonna get the window seat, and then the other person's like, I'm gonna sit on the very edge. So you gotta get that get that awkward that guy like, can seat. I sit right there in the middle? And it's just like it just holds up the whole line, and it's just like airplane etiquette, like just so every time I, I got a row, I would scoot all the way in. I wouldn't even question it. I'm getting the window seat, you know, and then y'all two could fill up next to me. I didn't I didn't like try to pull a power move and sit on the edge and have to get up every time. But it's just like <laughs> it it all depends. It all depends. I mean, and then, and then I'm also looking at it from a big guy perspective too. So yeah. like, I like, I'm like, let me sit on this window so I can just lean on this window the whole time. So mm-hmm. this pretty white girl next to me won't have to, you know, I make sure not to hog the, the armrest and everything. Uh, you, but you like, nice. 
I, I am. Real I nice. am. On the airplane, yeah, I don't hog the armrest, you know. I'm so, fucking yeah. Debo on a plane. <laughs> For the too long didn't listen, Kyle said, quit being on that broke ass shit <laughs> and getting group A, motherfuckers. I mean, yeah. You just got to check in early. But um, mm-hmm. I will say, you know, when the plane lands, you know, everyone's tired. Everybody wants to get up. Everybody wants to stretch, undo their seatbelt, everything. But I think the most, the biggest power move is the guys who stand on the edge and just stand up mm-hmm. and just wait. Yep. And it's just like, yep. yeah, they're just, <laughs> like, the, the plane is just like, just sitting there and you just stand up in the middle of the aisle. You won't let nobody else move. I'm that going is, first. That is a power move. Like, that is like, I saw that multiple times by these white guys. They just stand up in the middle of the aisle and just wait. And then I, but I also hate like the people who are like behind you, knowing mm-hmm. that you got to get your bag on the over, overhead. Just wait. You know, we all getting off this plane the same time. Like eventually, no I will, I, listen. I am I'm a dick when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> I will admit that I am a dick because nah. if I see so, if I see somebody coming up from behind mm-hmm. and like they're gonna get in front of me, yeah. <laughs> like are you fucking yeah, kidding? No, I hate it. I hate it too. But also like. Knowing you, you probably are the type that just travel with nothing, huh? Because you just be going. I got. Like, you just got a backpack or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't get those people. I don't get the people who just got nothing on them. Like, what do Wait, you what do? You, what do you do in life where you just travel with nothing? Unless, unless, they, unless they had checked bags. But like majority of the time, like there was multiple times I saw people just. It was just a phone. It was like, what do you do where you just like... I mean, they, they, they just didn't bring a carry on. They could be non-rev like I do, you know, because it mm-hmm. could be just like they going out there for a day and coming back, you know. Coming back. Yeah, because yeah. I, like I said, I'll do that all the time. Even if, like, if it's a day trip, I usually won't have a bag or nothing. I'll just really? go up there, yeah. But you, you ain't worried about, like, something might happen where you might have to bring an extra pair you of You ain't clothes. thinking about you going to shit yourself, That's brother? That's always back in my mind. Shoot, if I shit myself, I'm just... Nah, nah, just I you like, they'll I land the plane. I was, yeah. there, I was there for what? Three nights, four days? I literally had like eight pairs of outfits because I didn't know Man, what scenario. All, right, it is, all, it you is gotta, excessive, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is just find a house that got the little sprinklers, automatic sprinklers, <laughs> nah, turning pans inside nah, out. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> You'll be smelling like old uh, old boy that got on your uh, metro. <laughs> <laughs> metro. <laughs> I smell like Licky. <laughs> nah. See, you said earlier you be thinking of getting on the plane as a big person, but do you know what I struggle as a big person on the plane? Mm-hmm. Every time I go to check in, the motherfuckers always be like, "Would you like an extra ticket for another seat?" I'm oh, like, "Oh, really? I yes. haven't been asked that." I say, would you like, that. A, I would you like an extra? Is like, is you paying for it? I've only flown twice, and I've been asked that. Every single but time. But I ain't gonna lie. On the way back home, maybe I was eating too good on the trip. But like that seatbelt wasn't fitting. Right. I, was like, I was like, wait a minute. This this felt this this seatbelt felt like it it was fitting on the way here. But now on the way home, it wasn't fitting right. I was kind of scared. But like, yeah. Once you get asked that question, that's when you kind of right, look at yourself. <laughs> Listen, brother. I don't already had to have the embarrassment of getting off rides at Worlds of Fun. Like, I if I ain't looked at myself at that point, I ain't looking now. <laughs> Hey, you know, you know what is the best? You know what is the true first class? What's that? Paying for an economy ticket and getting that exit row when you like my size. Oh, <laughs> dude, I, mean, I, love the I exit be leaning row. back like oh, Fat Joe. Oh, dude. You get all the leg room. They ask you, they say, are, are you are you sure you want to sit in the exit row? And I'm like, you yup. <laughs> every I, time. I would have been like, this okay, ain't no pit on door in a, in a crisis. Mm-hmm, I would have been scared. Then it happened, and I was like, boom. <laughs> Do you ever get on the air? Do you ever get on the airplane and, and try to find an air marshal? <laughs> <laughs> try to figure out which one of y'all is the cop. You just look, yeah. You just look around and be like, that nigga right there. He he, he's, he got his he got his shirt tucked into his pants. <laughs> he he read the book. Like yeah, he, he the air marshal. No, nah, last time I went, this lady had to sit separate from her son, and she sat him next to us, and I'm like. I'm going to be real pissed with this little motherfucker bad because, like, I was over here watching shit on my phone, and I'm just like, keep your snotty little eyes away from my phone. I, I'm watching Ultraman, you little nigga. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel you on that because I was watching uh, Spider-Man on the way home, and I was just like... No oh, way man, home? I uh, no, uh, the... the animated the series, far from home? Across the Spider-Man. Yeah, okay. oh. And I was watching, and I was like, I wonder if, if they trying to get in it on this. <laughs> right. <laughs> man. I saw this dude. So he had, like, the the 30-inch iPad, right? <laughs> oh, God. I this man, dude. he had this contraption, right? Uh, it, like, clipped into the the uh, the tray. Mm-hmm. It clipped into the tray and then mounted on the top. So he was just, like, putting this shit together <laughs> to have his fucking, like, uh, widescreen iPad so he could watch. Uh, what the fuck did he watch? 
It was some like boring ass shit. Everybody. Like Bridgerton or something. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yes. I was yeah. like, you don't you don't need that. That is hilarious. Y'all ever travel by train? Yeah. Man, I did that one time. All I did was I pirated like all the seasons of Arrow, and I'm like, <laughs> all right. We bounced to go, and I fell asleep watching. I woke up, some nigga was sitting next to me, was like, hey, man, you got some cigarettes? And I'm like, I just met you. I mean, but did you? No, well, I did, but I wasn't sharing. I wish I would have I wish I would have brought more, because I was going to Chicago, and I did not know that it was like $12 oh, for a pack of smokes out there. And I was like, oh, god damn. You took that uh, Southwest Chief, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. People was like, hey, can I get a cigarette down there? I'm like, you better give me a dollar. <laughs> if I had to buy more down here, yeah, right? I never travel by train. You should, man. I think everybody should travel by train. At I least mean, once. It's, it's nice seeing the go. countryside, I don't know man. Where to go. You could, you could do. So if you go up to Salina, you could take a train down to uh, out to L.A. I think we closed the Salina. Um, Wait, really? I think it's closed now. No shit. Where, where they might we, have got rid of it. Where do we go? I don't know. Somewhere. I mean, as many trains as there are here in Kansas, there's got to be somewhere to go. I mean, it's not Amtrak though. It wasn't, yeah, Amtrak was the one that I was on. I mean, it wasn't a bad train ride. You know, I yeah. had plenty of leg room and everything, and, you know, I was asleep, and I wake up, and I'd be like, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know what state this is. <laughs> this is actually slightly concerning. Am I even still on the right train? Yeah, because, yeah, like, you, it's like you got to get off at your stop, right? Or Yeah, I got off in... It ain't sh- like an airplane was like, all right, we're at such and such. Yeah, no, yeah, you gotta, it wasn't you like a layover, attention. but they were definitely stopping at other stations. Yeah, and there's, there's a long stop. It's like, what... I think maybe it's like 20 minutes or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. I'll take that any day, though, because I will never again. I have to be down bad if I ever have to travel by fucking Greyhound bus or something <laughs> like that again. That was one of the worst experiences of my Man. life. It's like you should not be stuck with a bus full of people. I went to California on that oh, shit. That was shit. terrible. That's like, what, 24 oh, hours or so? Dude, we stopped oh. at a Waffle House. There was a fucking rattlesnake just in the door, and I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> uh, he's, he's getting them waffles to himself, man. <laughs> man, I ain't, I ain't never nah. doing that shit again. I uh, I saw, so like, I'm planning on going out to uh, Korea again, uh, maybe sometime this year. And the buses they got out there, like... You be sitting in that bitch like this, you know, yeah. just lay down. Yeah. You can just take a quick nap. I'm like, why don't we have that? Because, because we we all about what it doing stuff the most, the, what the fastest, fitting most the most people yeah. on it, most like cheapest, like yeah, like everyone started talking about the double decker seat on the airplanes, the concept, and it's like yeah, everyone gonna be farting in your face. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think that's such an American thing to do, right? Like, a little double decker. I mean, like, you know, everybody he, trying to fly like dude, that. Do you want to get to I where mean, you want to go and feel like a sardine? Yeah, I wish our buses here were double deckers. Our city buses are fucking lame, man. Oh, man. Like, they boring as hell. I but at least we ain't got people jumping out the windows or. Uh... <laughs> well, True. They came on the weekends because our. Uh, yeah, yeah. Our buses right. not run on the weekends. Yeah. Like, that's so dope. Yeah. I love it. I love it's it. Crazy. City, city transit gets the weekend yeah, off. Like, that doesn't make any that's sense. That's progress right yeah, there. Y'all know how to ride the city bus around here? Mm-hmm. No, no, I never have. I, I learned back when I was in middle school. Yeah, I used to have to go from um, basically WSU over to uh, to the uh, airport, mm-hmm. and it just pissed me off because like it was like at a point where like the car was busted and whatnot, mm-hmm. and it just pissed me off because before I had I had a uh, like beforehand I had to ride the bus and we had a bus that went out to the airport. Perfect. I was like, I'm gonna use that. Oh, we don't have that anymore. Why would they get rid of that? Exactly. Yeah, I don't. I don't what? understand our transit system. Makes but absolutely it's, no it's, sense. It's but so I can low. tell they added one out to where it takes you out to Greenwich fucking Plaza. I'm like, of course, to spend money. Yeah. But it's yeah. like that wasn't yeah. around before It'll this take got you out all here. The, like the shopping stations, but like the most important spots. <laughs> it's and, like, no, don't yeah. leave. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Shoot, when I was in middle school, I used to have to connect on the city bus all the time because I lived over at Harry and Rock, but I was going to Coleman Middle School, so. I would take the bus down to the station off of Harry, and then I had to get onto the bus that would be on 13th Street and just ride it all the way up. So yeah. that was like an hour and a half yeah. riding to school every day. When I hear kids riding city buses, I just think of Hey Arnold. I do too. Yeah. I do too. Hey <laughs> Arnold, because that's just that's riding by themselves. Stuff to yeah. Do, but you got to do it because that's your normal means of transportation. So mm-hmm. yeah, I just think of Hey Arnold every time I think of kids riding the bus. That's weird. Well, you know what I, I think about when I think of Hey Arnold? What do you think? That ending music. <laughs> no, Paramount Plus actually be pissing me off with Hey Arnold because we actually watch it a lot. Like, we like watching when we're going to sleep, and sometimes I just leave it on because, like, waking up to random episodes. <laughs> but, like, 
they the intro music is different on there. Like it's slightly lighter. I'm like, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. off, and I don't like it. This isn't how it was in my memories. Nope. I'm like, mm. well, you know, I'm gonna just say it here, um, because I'm, I'm hungry. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I understand. I, yeah, so I okay, hit sushi. Man. His water bugs. <laughs> I don't know how y'all. Anyways, I ain't gonna rant about that anymore. <laughs> But uh, yeah. You want you want to take us out or? Sure. Uh, you guys got anything you want to plug? And word coming soon. That's right. Um, nah. All right. <laughs> Hopefully we can get some streams going. Yeah, we do need to. I don't really. We got a lot. Of, I don't know. I'm not gonna say we got a lot of stuff planned because it's it's hard to get everybody here. So I'm yeah. not gonna say nothing. So no, I do not. I gotta talk to my doctor about my streams first. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you guys have been tuned in with the freshest crew today. I am Tim on the. Oh shit! I almost said the couch. I am Tim in the armchair, and this is A two, and this is Kyle, and we are out of here. Peace. Peace.